Frontiers founder and CEO David Braben just took to the official Elite Dangerous forums to give a very frank and important update about the future of Elite Dangerous Horizons and Elite Dangerous Odyssey. It goes without saying that the launch of Odyssey has been one of the most turbulent periods in Frontiers history. I won't go over the many problems in detail again but suffice to say whilst Odyssey is better for some now than it was at launch it still has problems for a good few commanders. These are issues coupled with some communication missteps from the company namely the widely derided patch roadmap and developer update forum post have led to what is now a nearly 8 week long period of unrest when Frontier would rather everyone was celebrating and enjoying Odyssey. Davids post on the forums is uncommonly open, frank and honest for the beleaguered Cambridge development house. I've linked it below this video. Suffice to say it's definitely worth a read and whilst I won't read the post for you now in this video I will give you a summary of the salient points. In his opening comments David acknowledges the frustration felt in the community and further states that the company has heard the feedback from the player base clearly and will act on it. The post further confirms what many had suspected that given the continuing problems with the PC version the work on the console release of Odyssey has not progressed as the company had planned and further acknowledges that there is yet more work to do on the PC version of Odyssey post patch 5. With those things in mind Frontier have made the decision to refocus their development efforts and prioritise the PC version of Elite Dangerous. The obvious side effect of this prioritisation is that the console versions of Odyssey are now delayed past their original Autumn 2021 release date with no release window for the console version being offered until the PC release is considered solid. David continues that the refocus on the PC development as a priority will mean further updates to the PC build. Indeed he confirms that patch 6 for Odyssey is in the works right now and further affirms the company's intention to work through the bugs raised in the issue tracker as well as improving the performance of Odyssey. Further David stated that this refocus of development will allow them to quote explore and add additional features, content and improvements into the game unquote. He then goes on to acknowledge that the details given in the roadmap and development updates have not met players expectations and whilst he doesn't state directly that the company will improve matters there he does describe the community reaction to those communications as quote clear feedback unquote. So where does this leave us? Whilst I doubt it was a huge surprise to many people the further delay for console commanders is undoubtedly going to bring some real pain. With that said given the option of getting the expansion earlier but then suffering the pain that the PC community has gone through well it's not really much of a choice. No matter what way you cut it it's clear the company have now heard the discontent and outright outrage at the state that Odyssey was released in. Whilst the decision to delay the console port is undoubtedly a difficult decision for everyone not least the player base I do think it's the right one and I'm glad to see the company commit to repairing the PC build before they consider releasing on other platforms. Whilst the hint at new content and features being added to Odyssey going forward is tantalising I do think the full focus should be on repairing the galaxy, getting the experience running at a reasonable frame rate and squishing bugs. So there we have it. I have to say here at the pit we're very pleased to see this level of communication and honesty from Frontier even if the message is not all good news. The clear statement of intent to repair the PC experience before launching anywhere else is really positive. So how has David's statement left you feeling? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.